Hey guys, my name is Jackie. I'm with Can Drone, and today I have the latest BLK to go from Leica Geosystems. We're here in downtown Vancouver to test it and push it to its limits. My favorite thing about the BLK to go is that it's lightweight, it's compact, it delivers 420,000 points per second at 25 meters of range and it collects at sub two centimeters accuracy. So it has a 360 degree field of view cameras all around the system. It delivers RGB point cloud and everything can be operated at a one button operation. Like I've made this system really simple to use. We get a lot of inquiries about whether we need training on the system and I'll show you that this system can be operated by anybody. So in this travel case here, we have the VLK to go and to turn it on, we just simply hold the button and we're going to set the system down. This system, you can use it with an iPad or an iPhone or any iOS device. However, this can be used standalone because we have that LED ring around the system. Once the system is slowly blinking green, the system is ready to start scanning. So we can just pick it up. In order to use the device, you want to hold it up like a torch. It does have a buffer zone, so it'll keep everything that is half a meter from the LiDAR system cut out. So as long as you hold it like this, you won't be in the shot. If there's a specific location that requires more attention, for example, somewhere like this, we can simply walk into this area, kind of wave around the blk to go to make sure that it collects all angles, and then walk out. And that's the beauty of mobile terrestrial scanning, is that you don't have to place your tripod as you go, but simply walking around. When it comes to your point density, it varies depending on how fast you walk. So a speed like this would be sufficient enough to collect this whole area in great detail. If I have an area of concern, I can slow down and again, wave my VLK to go around or walk around the object of interest and it will collect the object of interest in full 360 degrees. So now I'm going to show you how to get a live preview on the iPad. Here you see that we're connected to the blk to go We can go into the blk to go live app and select on our blk to go and we are immediately introduced with a live preview of the system. We are in the 2D view and with this slider, it allows you to take a cross section horizontally of the area you're scanning. So in the 3D view, we can see the point cloud being built live as we walk. And just remember that the preview is only a sample of the data that's being collected. One of the features I want to talk about on the blk to go is the front facing camera. So this allows you to take photos while you're scanning. So for example, we have an air concern, this uh, water connection here. What we can do is simply press the button once. And in a few seconds, you'll see that the picture will display here. So there you go, and this picture is now tagged relative to the point cloud. So when I view the point cloud in 3D space, I know exactly where that picture was taken. So I also want this lamp to be in excellent detail, so I'm just gonna walk around it. Ideally, you want to minimize drifting in the SLAM algorithm. So what you can do is simply walk back towards the starting location and place down the blk to go and stop it from there. If you look at my iPad here, it has developed a green line, which is going to be your trajectory. Now that I'm done my scan, I am going to put it back on a space station. And as you can see in the point cloud here, that our trajectory was a nice big loop. To stop the system, we're going to hold the button for two seconds. It's going to blink yellow and the system is going to go to idle mode. So now that we're back in the shop, uh, we're gonna do a data transfer to the computer. Uh, the quickest way to do this, if you don't wanna use any cables or anything, you can transfer it through uh, Wi-Fi. Now the system is powered on, we're going to connect to the blk to go Wi-Fi. I am going to open up Cyclone Register 360, which I have here. You're gonna to need to create a new project folder. And once you're at this page, you're gonna to need to press blk to go it's going to automatically discover uh, your blk to go I'm just going to press connect. So once you loaded all your scans into Cyclone Register 360, you can see the individual scans here. 
and I'm just going to disable all of them and only render the ones that we scan in downtown. Now that we process the data and clean it up a little bit, uh, we can see uh, in our point cloud viewer, the quality of our point cloud. So currently I have glass effect on, so I'm just gonna quickly disable that. So there you go, now it is solid points. And you can see that uh, the blk to go did a really great job in terms of fidelity. So if we see here, you can see the coffee there was picked up very, very clearly, right? And if we go into our area where we stand on the inside, it did a very good job of collecting all the points to make out the shape. So you can take something like this and you can bend it. Okay, the biggest question that people always ask is, okay, what is your accuracy and what is the quality? So to do that, what we can do is we can do a cross section and see what the thickness of the point cloud is going to be. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to set the cross section to be 10 centimeters. Awesome. I'm going to up the point size just so the camera can see this better. I'm going to use my measurement tool and from here to here. So if you look at DY, the green, we are below two centimeter accuracy. So it's at 1.6 centimeters. And if I take another swath somewhere else, like some right here. And you can see that we're within that range of two centimeter accuracy, right? If I took a smaller swath, maybe five centimeters, this data would be even better because the, the floor that we were traveling on was not perfectly flat. So overall, the blk to go is a excellent tool for you if you're looking for something that's portable, that's lightweight, that can deliver a point cloud in a matter of minutes. We're always looking for cool new ideas to scan. So if you have a net recommendation, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you're looking to download new data sets that we have, it's also in the description. If you're interested in the system for a upcoming project, we do offer rentals and sales. So feel free to message us at support at